good late morning welcome back to another episode of fishing me Ying. today i don't know what we're doing all i know is that we're out here looking for some pre-spawn bass i have yet to conquer like a pre-spawn bite this will be my first year like targeting and locating and finding and going after like really hard or well, at least i'm gonna try to to catch some pre-spawn bass where do i start i have no idea i mean i have some lake in mind but they're only as cooperative as they can be right because it's still pretty cold out water temperature is like 50 degrees and the goal here is to catch one bass if you catch one bass that'd be awesome with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys learned something today i'll do my best to teach you guys and talk to you guys what i'm looking for what i'm doing what i'm throwing and my combos and stuff like that so with that being said stay tuned i'll see you guys we're already out in the water i'll see you guys in the next cast peace so from what I know, right, from past experience, um, the time you want to pre-fish, uh, not pre-fish, but fish for uh, pre-spawn bass, right, is when the water temp is around, I could say 53 to like, like 56, 57, somewhere around there, right, like in the 50s, basically. You can find lakes that have canals or channels, whatever you want to call it, that goes into like a weird shallow area. Those are usually the spots that warm up first, right? That's the idea, right? They're gonna to move to the areas that warm up first, the shallower water, uh, maybe flats, maybe sandy flats, uh, gravel, rocks, whatever. When the sun is out and you have like a nice streak of warm weather, those bass, the pre-spawners, they're gonna go and hang out in shallow areas. Cause it only makes sense. They wanna bake their eggs as soon as possible so they can lay them, right? They can lay them, they can do their thing, and then they can feed, right? They're, they're gonna tag, they're gonna do their thing, they're gonna react, they're, they're aggressive around this time of the year. It's hard because up here in Wisconsin, we have cold nights, right? There are nights where it just drops to like 30, and then there are midday where it's like 55, 60 degrees, 70 degrees. So throwing moving baits, uh, throwing reaction baits, uh, crankbait, lipless, uh, chatter baits, spinner baits, those are all really good lures. Yeah, you just gotta keep, uh, casting and chucking away and see what happens basically you just never know here we go one black and blue jig don't fail me wow this is freaking textbook Wow, super warm in here. It's 55 degrees. Got him. That's a large mouth. And let's go, dude. <laughs> dude, let's go. What the heck? He hit it right by the bowl. Wow. That's crazy. All right, catch and release. Sheesh. Oh, jeez, I missed him. I missed him. Got him. That's a big one. Big one. Oh, my God. Swing wheel. Let's go. <laughs> dude, let's go, dude. Look at that, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> I missed him once. Got him on the second time. On that new crawl, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This just gives me so excited, dude. Bass fishing is just so exciting to me. That's a very nice bass. Oh my gosh. Get in the boat, dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Dude. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That's a nice one. Look at this. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh.
dude. I'm freaking shaking right now. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to take a little break here. You guys know I love bass fishing. I love targeting them. I love fishing for them. They're just so much fun. They're explosive. They fight hard. And it's just instant when they hit it you know it's, it's so cool especially when you're flipping a power fishing like that but so what i wanted to show you guys is this awesome crawl right here guys this is the new crawl that i helped design with ballsy baits bbgt i'll leave the links down below on their website it is an amazing crawl i have some more close-up shot of the b-roll right there on the floor but basically i'm fishing this lure on a akuma dtr custom medium heavy a seven foot 17 pound floral with the akuma hakai reel the new one and um with the eight to one i believe yep eight to one gear ratio the red one and all i have to say guys is this is like the perfect flipping combat combo right i'm flipping on three eight pounds black and blue jig dnl so that, that's my combo that's my killer uh, catch right now and i'm fishing in like shallow water you can say five feet this is deep in the middle but everything else like close to the bank you can say it's only like a foot of water so being able to just target those bass on lay downs and uh like isolated areas like obvious textbook areas it was just key once i found that 54.5 54.9 to almost 55 degree like i mentioned in the intro they were just laid out it's just so awesome to know that i helped design this craw and i caught fish with it and cali and here it's just so fun like this thing is amazing and we got more molds like more style coming out of this crawl here um so make sure you guys check them out make sure to get yourself some because you're gonna need it when the fight is hot so yeah enough talking let's get back to fishing i'm gonna eat breakfast late breakfast first and then uh i'm gonna get back to it so and i hope you guys are enjoying this awesome pre-spawn bass fishing series stay tuned i keep all my bowler weights and hooks in the ammo tackle box I'm gonna go a little bigger just in case all right size three and we're gonna go with the lightest weight first uh, today i'll just be using quarter ounce it's not that deep but if not this then i'll use three eight ounce from Wu tungsten let me show you guys real quick here Jeez. so here's a three eighth and here's the other one but today we're just going to use this because it's not that deep today i think i have one sitting here somewhere there we go it'll be very quiet because uh bass are in here i'm using a 15 pound floral if you guys are wondering Check this out guys. <laughs> you can't see. Oh god. Dude on the freaking crawl. Holy smoke. Look at that. Dude he freaking inhaled it. Wow that's a solid fish. On the new crawl. Dude that's a solid fish. Holy cow dude. <laughs> freaking shaking. Alright. Big mama going back. Holy cow, dude. Sheesh. There we go. Another one on the craw, guys. Right there. The one pounder, but still fun. Tons of fun.
bass. Oh my gosh. That's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay, stay down. Stay down, stay down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. Is that a five? What's a big one? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that bass. On the freaking crawl. Look at the head on that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that bass. Yes. Gosh, look at that beautiful fish. Alright. Gotta release it. See ya. I didn't even have time to uh freaking <laughs> I didn't even have time to do any. I was just shaking the whole time. Oh my gosh. Yes. crazy on that crawl again insane dude oh, dude he freaking inhaled it there you go come back Nice large mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. What the heck are you doing here? Oh, that's a nice bass. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. On a spinner bait. Jeez. Just completely wow. That crawl just went insane. Like, every time I loop back around to pitch that crawl in there, those bass would just not stay off of it. As soon as it hits the bottom, one drag, one twitch, and they would just annihilate the bait. So, uh, that was pretty darn cool. I'm super excited now, super stoked. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below, hit that thumbs up. And let's continue this pre-spawn bass season. Let's just do a bunch of bass fishing. And I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. So stay tuned, check out the new baits, and I'll see you guys next time.